Hello guys, today we will be having a look at the Camera F4 dosing pump. So this is a wireless dosing pump and it comes with 4 hit. When it comes to pump, uh, Camera definitely has a better reputation if you want to compare uh, dosing pump such as Jebao or Jackpot. Now let's have a look on what is inside the box. This thing costs around $250 at my place. So uh, the price could range uh, between there. So uh, it comes with a product manual. You can see that the pump is uh, pretty neatly packed. So next we have the holder for the pump. So you can mount this anywhere that you want. Next we have the accessories that comes with the pump. These accessories are pretty much uh, self-explanatory. So this would be the main F4 pump. Uh, the build for this pump is quite steady. It looks kind of solid with uh, rubber protection on the edge of the pump. I would say that the build is uh, pretty much better uh, in terms of quality if you want to compare the pump that you have from Jebao or Jackot. Now let's try to power up this pump. So after plugging in the power into the pump, there is a button at the back of the pump which you can use to start the pump. And once the indicator light on the front is ready, you can connect your app to the pump. To control the pump, you will need to download the app uh, which is called uh, Camera Dosing Pump 2. You can use the QR code or you can search for the app on uh, Google Play Store. Once you have installed the app, the first step you will need to connect your Wi-Fi to the pump Wi-Fi. You should see the pump's Wi-Fi and the password for the Wi-Fi is 1234567 Once you have connected to the pump's Wi-Fi, you can start using the app to control the pump. You should be able to see your pump. Now click on the pump to manage the pump. By default, your plan list should be empty. To add any plan into your pump, click on the plan settings. As for the mode, I would be using the automatic configuration. You can then choose which pump that you want to configure. So I would be starting off with uh, pump 1. Click on the slide button to enable the pump 1. The next field would be the daily dosing amount in terms of liquid. Over the next field, you will have the option to configure your start time, end time, dosing times, and your cycle mode. So once you have determined your dosing time, click on save settings and the pump will automatically adjust your dosing based on your preference. Next, go back to plan list. You can see that the pump has automatically created a daily schedule based on my settings. To rename your pump, go to level slash temperature and over here you can choose the pump that you want to rename. So over at the reagent name settings, you can put the name for your pump. To perform manual dosing, hit to manual section. To do manual dosing on any pump, select the pump. And on the input dosing volume, you can adjust the volume of water that you want to dose. If you set this to zero, the pump will continuously dose until you have turned off the slide pattern. To dose a specific amount on a pump that you want to, select the pump and key in the volume that you want to dose. Next, we would be calibrating the dosing pump. This is a very important step as any dosing pump may not be accurate if it comes right out from the box. To do that, fill up the input and the output tube with water. You can use the manual function to pump out all the air from the tube. To calibrate any pump, click on the flow calibration. Next, select the pump that you want to calibrate. Click on the start button. The calibration process will start. And once the calibration process is completed, you should insert the input dosing volume into the app. 
to confirm the dosing accuracy, you can use the manual pump mode with the while provided. Repeat the process with all the pump that you will be using. Overall, the pump is quite straightforward and easy to use. However, I do feel that the pump should be facing down instead of upwards due to gravity because sometimes uh, some elements such as KH may leak out and they may leach into the pump. And also the pump is not using the standard aquarium tube so uh, they are using some sort of uh, tube which is a little bit smaller which is hard to get at least in my country. So we solved this by cutting off the provided tube and inserting our standard tube into the dosing pump. Do feel free to subscribe and hit the like button if the video has been helpful to you. Thank you and have a nice day.